Alright, I'm back, like Jason here, with another review, reaction, spoiler review, all that put in one, once again. Oh my god, the fucking Watchmen. Okay, well, I called it, I told you I was gonna be a flashback episode about how they met. This was the dopest Quentin Tarantino time shit I've ever fucking seen in the history of cinema this was amazing so uh all the time lapse was awesome like i said i got notes this time uh we actually got to see dr manhattan fade people oh my god he actually murdered people <coughs> bruh that was amazing um what else happened uh well the fact of this particular episode, I predict that uh, the Watchmen will one day be on the BET streaming service or the network. <laughs> this is a very black show. I'm sorry. Uh, it amazed me. And uh, like I said, still didn't get to see the comedian. Doesn't mean he's not there. Like I said, Dr. Manhattan put Ozymandias on Europa. I didn't think it was a prison. I think it became a prison over time. Um... The, I don't want to say it's a downside or a positive or a negative, but Ozymandias thought it was just going to be better. You know what I'm saying? And it ended up not being the same thing that happened to Dr. Manhattan. Ended up having to Dr. Uh, uh, ended up having to Ozymandias. He got tired of this shit. I mean, it's cool if you're just constantly getting pampered by what you created, but then you're going to get bored with it. You know what I'm saying? It's like having a bunch of puppies around the fuck you're gonna get tired of these motherfuckers eventually um i have another prediction i think uh looking glass is gonna end up i think he's already wherever they took or transported dr manhattan so i think looking glass is gonna be a part of saving dr manhattan with this being the first season i, I refuse to believe to think that they're gonna kill dr manhattan i'm still believing they're gonna bring rorschach back dr manhattan is gonna do that um it was so well written. I'm like, oh my God, what kept... First of all, there's a lot of us, a lot of you in the comments that agree with me. We hate these fucking flashback episodes. They suck on all of our different types of shows. But this one was done fucking remarkable. Like I say, I ain't never seen Quentin Tarantino shit done better than he does it. But this was phenomenal. Um, I also want to know to any of my conservative viewers out there you know what i'm saying it might be a few races that watch the show how do you feel about this show does it make you mad that they made dr manhattan a black guy or he can be whatever the hell he wants to be but d does that bother you i'm just curious i want to know how does that because i'm saying that to say this because i feel so good about watching this show because i'm black and it's around you know it's got a lot of elements of our culture in it. So I'm appreciative of the show. I want to know, does it have a similar effect to the opposite of races? You know, do y'all feel some type of way that it's not that way? You know, I'm just curious. You know, this is a this is one of the best shows ever written. And like I say, the jump sequences was phenomenal. I mean, oh my God. Like I say, most people hate flashbacks. How they did the flashbacks and the order in which they did the flashbacks was phenomenal. Uh, then on top of that, once we get back up to modern day, didn't think I was going to actually see Dr. Manhattan. Like I said, Dr. Manhattan actually faded people, which irked me because why didn't he just make everybody vanish, including the guy behind the damn teleport device that ended up teleporting them after Angela went John Wick on the whole fucking parking lot, which I thought was awesome. Side note, what pissed me off about that? How the fuck are you a superhero in your own house? Nigga, John Wick dug up a whole garage and had all kind of shit. Nigga, you trying to tell me you got a cupboard and you're a sister knight superhero? Ain't no fucking way. She should have had more weapons in her house. That's all the fuck I'm saying. Period. I, the cupboard threw me the fuck off because she's a superhero. She should have had more weapons. I'm sorry. Um, Like I say, uh... I guess uh, we didn't get to see, let's see, we didn't see Looking Glass, we didn't get to see uh, What's Her Name, Spectre, the uh, DEA agent, we didn't get to see her in any of this episode. We did see some Ozymandias, and I was thinking, 
I'm thinking Angela's gonna get to confront Will this next coming up episode, which is the last episode. So, oh my God, there's no telling what they're gonna throw up in there for us. But I, I feel that Angela's gonna confront Will there about the memories and all that shit. Um, predict Looking Glass is gonna save Doctor Manhattan, and I think he might go visit Adrian, and that's how Adrian gets to come back. That might be the next episode, providing that Looking Glass saves him. <coughs> um, one thing that you haven't heard me mention was the actual, I guess you could say, plot point. <coughs> They're using the old cliche, uh, what came first, the chicken or the egg type scenario. And when that was apparent that that was happening, my whole thing was... Fuck that. The fact of the matter is, he still, he still had the, uh, how can I say this? Uh, he still had the goddamn clan, uh, hoodie. He still has the clan hoodie in the closet. You know, he's still a racist, regardless of the situation. Did that get it away? I'm so sorry, y'all. Um, but yeah, so I'm like, regardless of what came first, whether, she told her grandfather to look into this motherfucker. Which is what apparently happened. Because Will says he doesn't know this motherfucker until Angela asks about him. But he's still a racist and he's still in the 7th Cavalry. So regardless of how they fucking found out, that is the main issue. Um, Did she start it or not? I don't think she started it because the nigga's still a racist. So... That was the whole concept of the season. How the fuck was this nigga in the 7th Cavalry? It really wasn't about who started anything. He was already in that shit, and they was trying to infiltrate it. So, with that being said, I think it's kind of irrelevant what came first, the chicken or the egg. I think it's a nice twist. Uh, they got a lot of room to play with that. But, it kind of is irrelevant. Because like we say, they got Dr. Manhattan, he got to get saved, look at glasses, nowhere to be found, Lori's nowhere to be found. So, you know, we got a lot of catching up to do. Oh my God, season two, I can't wait for this shit. This is going to be a long fucking season. It's going to be a long year. Oh my God, we need some more shows in between. Um, but let's see. Like I say, it was a great episode. Oh my God. Um, yeah, like I said, I said that too. Uh... Oh, yeah, that was a fucked up. But once again, watch me. Y'all motherfuckers are good for a what the fuck moment. Look, I'm a black man and I enjoy looking at my own penis, but I might have a problem looking at other people's. I'm not. Look, it just came out of left field. Like I say, to all the niggas on Instagram, nigga, put a shirt on. I don't give a fuck if you got abs or not. When you're next to another man or you're messaging another man, you talk, put a fucking shirt on. So we had another one of those moments. I'm sure the women loved the shit, which was crazy because in the scene where they were picking out a body for Dr. Manhattan and she done pulled out four white dudes, in my head, keep in mind, this is a black show. Why the fuck would you want to pick a white man? There's got to be a black dude that she's hiding. And then they show the black dude naked later on in the episode. I'm pretty sure she's seen him naked too. Y'all know where the fuck I'm going with this shit. I just thought that was fucking funny. I'm pretty sure a lot of women appreciated that scene and loved it too. Um, but yeah, put a fucking shirt on. It was crazy. Uh, other than that, wow, the uh, amazing episode, the Quentin Tarantino shit blew my fucking mind of how well done it was. Oh, man. The fact of how it was written because the argument was the shit. The fact that he said, all right, we finna get into the argument. All right, we're in the argument now. It was just funny how that whole argument, like, literally, if I can't wait that my wife sees this episode, because she's going to be like, nigga, that's like arguing with your ass. It's, it's, it's hilarious, bro. I mean, I, I really was taken back by the argument. I'm a Virgo. I'm a very argumentative individual. But if you know a lot of male Virgos, we like to argue both sides. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's crazy. I love that whole fight scene scenario. But... Like I said, I called that fucking flashback episode. My next prediction is Looking Glass is going to save Dr. Manhattan. Uh, I don't think it's going to be all in this one next episode, but 
Looking Glass saving him. Uh, Angela confronts Will. Rorschach is coming back. And the comedian is coming back. Those are my fucking predictions. I'm sticking to it. Uh, the next review I'm finna do is probably my Titans. And I'm gonna do the Mandalorian. So stay tuned. Peace. Enjoy the fucking show. Whew. Until next week, fellas. Yo, hit me up in the comments. This was, this was crazy. This was crazy. Thank you for your time. Like and subscribe. And in time, this will become a lot better of a YouTube channel. I'm just shocked that so many of you are curious about my view of this particular show. Thank you. I mean, you're right. We do need to have a black perspective on this show because it's so much black shit in this show that we did not expect to be black. I, when I think of black comic books, Watchmen is not <laughs> what I think of as a black comic book. <laughs> I'm glad to put that in that category. You know what I'm saying? I mean, as far as a black man, I love to have heroes that I can look into, heroes that I can show my kids to be like, you know, it's all about inspiring your children to be greater than what you are as far as living in this world today as a black man and having to raise black kids in this crazy-ass world and how they treat us black people. So I'm all about encouraging and embodying any black aspect of power that I can put into my kids. So. Shouts out to y'all. Like, subscribe. See you next time. I got two more reviews coming.